Hub. Boom. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, my voice had a bit of a funny one then. How's it going? How's it going, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, hope you're doing well. So we're still waiting for the guys to join, but, you know, save me typing, I can actually speak to you guys. You got a positive test, so it's forced upon me. Holy shit, Shady. Look after yourself, bro. Damn. How are you feeling, anyway? Are you lucky? Are you, uh, the one without the, uh, Wait for that to finish. How's it going, Isma? How you doing? Uh, is it the one where you've got no symptoms? Did get my words out eventually. Yeah, how's it going, Viper Sphere? How you doing, buddy? Oh, some barfs. Hell. <laughs> uh, man, that sucks, Shady, bro. Yeah, but nothing whole hospitalized. That's a good thing, then. That's a good thing, bro. But yeah, man, that must be rough still, anyway. Must be rough. Yeah, we're, we're lucky enough that... Um... Wow. I'm not sure about where I live though, because it's like tourist location number one in Britain, so UK is starting to come down. Starting, just itsy bitsy slowly bits. Oh yeah. Mr. Barnacle Nuts, thank you for the follow, bro. Appreciate it. Hello, Dwarf Chucker, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well, bro. Hope you're doing well. Nice to see the Aussies join me. Okay, so we're just waiting for one more member of BT5 to join. Because we're eight aside at the moment. So all of Fork House is currently in. We're just waiting for BT5. BT5, what does that mean again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Someone probably tell me in the chat. Good stuff, Dwarf. Good stuff. Glad you're going. Glad you're okay, bro. Glad you're okay. Rocky's having a little sleep at the moment, so he's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, a little sleep. Bleed the fifth. There you go. Cheers, Shady, bro. Zenon's plays for BT5. Damn, GG's to him. He does indeed. He does indeed. Look at that ping, though, man. 209. Barnacle, what are you doing? Coming in with a 500 biddies. Absolute legend. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you for the 500. Bill Post top five. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's actually quite cool. That's actually quite good. Yeah, uh, Barnacle Nuts. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you for the 500 bees. Legend. I'll tell you what, let's get some... Uh... Hold on. How's this game looking so far? Right, okay. Let's get on some uh, nicer lo-fi tune, shall we? Barnacle put you to shame. Oh, make Barnsey, man. Nah, it's all good. 
My phone just went off then as well. You shouldn't be able to hear it. Mr. Barnacle Nutty Boy. Coming in with another 500 biddies. Another 500 biddies. A thousand biddies. Cheers, my dude. Absolute legend. You even gave me an emote. There you go. I'm going to thank you in the chat for the emote. Absolute legend. Hyper Mayhem. I like the sound of that. Yeah, absolute legend. Thank you very much, Barnacle. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, get the like and poggers in. Yeah, the like and poggers is free to use. You don't have to be a sub to use it. All you have to do is type all in caps, like and pogs. And he, oh, well, not in, all in caps, apparently. <laughs> I think it might be like and pog. That's it. It's like and pog, no S. How's it going, pal, pal? Are we just waiting for the random lead boss to hold up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, waiting for the randoms to leave. Now, we're just waiting for one member each. We're in a burn round at the moment. So, the maps today will be Province, Devastation, Lofton Islands. Stop spending my 2MD payroll. Oof. Big oof. How's it going, Soups? <laughs> I was calling you Soups all day today. I'm just going to call you that, mate, from now on. Mr. Soups. Or Subic Soups. Oi, oi. Hello, King. Ahoy there, Mr. Like an MB. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm doing well, mate. I'm doing well. How you doing, bro? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. How have you been, King? How you been? <laughs> you're good with whatever. All right, Soups. <laughs> I noticed there's a cheeky Steelers in here as well. She hasn't said anything yet. And she be sneaking. She's sneaking away in here. How's it going, Texter? How you doing, buddy? So we're just waiting for this burn round to end. I mean, we've got all eight at Fork House, and then we're just waiting for one more. Oh, sorry. No, one more. Two more members of BT5. So this is T8 without tanks. So no tanks involved. All infantry based. How's it going, um, Klux? How you doing, buddy? Lap my ass off, it's Zenums. Hey, hey, he's playing for BT5, bro. He's playing for BT5 with that 200 ping. I'm doing amazingly. Well, not as much streaming in the road company recently. It's quite good. Uh, I've watched it. I've, I've kind of watched it, but it's, I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of third-person shooters. Unless I like tactical shooters, like, I don't know, um, Tom Clancy's stuff. I don't know, I might give it a go. I don't know if it's free to play or not. I think you have to buy it, don't you? Getting ready mentally for this upcoming semester. Oof. Oof, Texter. Oof. I simp for like in here, Barnacle. Wait a minute. Did you sub as well, Barnacle? Refresh your page, Barnacle Nuts, my dude. Add command, Barnsley. There you go, man. You add that command. How's it going, Astro? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Barnacle Nuts, thank you for the sub, I think. <laughs> it's not showing up yet, so I've just noticed you've got the symbol have a beta key for it. I mean, if I get a beta key, I'll give it a go. I know it's cross-play, so I'll probably use it on PC. Yo, how's it going, Jeff? How you doing, buddy? Right, okay. Let's minimize my scene changes down so I can actually look at the screen. Because I always cast from the PC. Oh no, here we go. Yo, what's up? How's it going, Sub-Zero? How you doing, buddy? Let's have a look at Panda here with this uh, boom broom. 
Let's see what you can do, eh? Oh my god, Barnacle Nuts. Another 500 biddies. What, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Absolute legend. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, buddy. And I think thank you for the sub as well. He hasn't came through yet. I don't know what's going on with it, but um, if you haven't already, Barnacle, refresh your page. You might have to share it in the chat for it to uh, appear for me as well. If you want to see maybe get destroyed by Strider in the biggest meme of Battlefield's going at the moment. Because maybe he's an absolute legend. Yeah, I'll hit you up, King, if I, uh, if I ever get it, my dude. If I ever get it. Okay, so this burn round's just about coming to an end. Delete con Barnsley. Why do you want to delete that for, Barney? Barney. <laughs> we are still waiting for two more members of uh, BT5. Alright, I'll, I'll delete a few soon, bro. I'm not going to do it now, but I'll delete it. Thank you, worry. Oh, just add it in, mate. Just add it in. I'll delete it again. Unless you want to have it in the same format, then I'll quickly do it for you while I'm waiting. Hold on, let me delete it for you quickly. Uh, I think you might have added it to Nightbot. Which one did you add it to? Oh no, it was... There we go. Yeah, you added it to Nightbot, so um... Yeah. Jesus. That was, that was really loud. Ideal. Yo, cheers King, my dude. I will catch you soon. I'll get my drink ready though. <laughs> you you gotta see the mug. Gotta see the mug. The mug is. That song is amazing. Rip Stephen Hawking. It's actually Tupa Tupaco's favorite song as well. It's a good song, man. It's a good song. Yeah, McBarnes knows the mug. Damn phone awoke Brexit of randomness words on there, right? Speaking of which, I got my new phone. Tabaki, indeed. Mr. Tabasco. So I got myself a, uh, a Note 20 Ultra. Shady baby. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this burn round. We're still waiting for one more member of BT5, but I reckon he's already joining. So we're going to get cracking straight into it. Straight into it. Yeah, man, Shady, look after yourself, bro. Look after yourself. No, God, please, no, no. Mr. Nuts coming in with... Coming in with the gifted job. The gifted job to our wolf. Yo, our wolf, welcome to the club, mate. Welcome to the club. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your emotes. Like, what's the performance like? Performance for what, my dude? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you mean for the phone? Yeah, it's good, man. It's fast. It's real fast, actually. The only thing I need to do is replace the uh, tempered glass screen protector because it won't register my fingerprint. So that's coming tomorrow. So I'll change that. 
It's massive as well. It's huge. 6.7 inches of pure screen. It's insane. You can see where the fingerprint um, thing is for the screen protector right there. Yeah, I don't like it. You can see it. It's a bit weird. Just a little bit weird. Well, hold on. Let me move Junder over a minute. Junder looks a little bit of out of place. Just a little bit out of place. We're going to get straight into it. So we're over on Province to start with. 8 versus 8 on Province. I haven't done one of these in a while. You just want the new console? Mate, I want the new console too, bro. I want the new console as well. You'll laugh, right? So I've got a... um, I've got a pretty, pretty beastly PC. Like a pretty, a pretty beastly gaming rig. But I still prefer gaming on a console from time to time. It's just me, man. It's just me. I don't know what it is, but it's just having a controller in your hands. It's just so much easier than using a mouse and keyboard. But some games are really nice to play on PC, like strategy games, for example. But when it comes to games like Diablo and you know your your typical platformers and stuff like that, it is better to use a controller for that. And if I right, okay, so we're getting straight into it. The guys are spawning straight in. Bar one member of BT5, so we will still be waiting for that member. So it's going to be a seven versus eight to start with here. So looking straight at Bravo, where I like to look to begin with on province especially we're going to be seeing a lot of guys run straight into the objective exactly a four-man push with a big push up the top side as well but we're going to look straight into bravo let's see what's going down so mr rogers is going to be looking to go in there with bong angel she's going to be moving straight up to get some shots down before going down to young ruley young ruley coming in as well looks like he's rocking that slub slider coming in with a few popping rounds there managing to miss a lot of shots with tan man killing him outright wait wait what Wait, what? That was so confusing then. He died underneath the ground. What the hell? So, we will see Bravo start to get claimed here by Fork House. Berlin Wall inside the building on his own. Coming in with a few shots there, but Iron Panda taking him down. Absolute beast coming in for those revives. Picking his teammates back up, ready to rock and roll once more. Who's that being the Bushwookie? We have got Zone 6 as the Bushwookie. So, let's have a look and see what else is going on the map here. So, Fork House currently in control of Bravo. Alpha point under the control BT5 along with Charlie. We've got a big full house push going straight towards that Charlie point. Play with the slub slider. <laughs> it's actually not a bad gun for long range. But when you're coming out of close range, no, no, no. Not for me. Okay, so full house managing to clear off the BT5 push going straight into Bravo. They're going to be able to reclaim that objective for their own. Now we have got Blake the Bait who's currently watching down the opposite end using... Mm -mm -mm, that mass 44. He's going to be looking to move over to his right side. This is my favorite semi auto gun for uh, assault, by the way. Coming over a few rounds, not being able to finish off that member. However, he will be looking to return to Charlie, where we will see a few members of Fork House. I actually started to go over towards Alpha. We've got Matt there on his way over. That's weird. to say my own name. And we've got Punisher on the way as well. Looks like Zone 6 is still going on to Bravo with Cod Maniac. Looks like we're going to be looking at American. He's making his way into that Charlie objective, trying to defend it. Sorry, Alpha objective, trying to defend it. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay, so we're currently looking at Berlin Wall going in for the Panzerfaust. I don't know if he launched it then or not. He did indeed. You can see the, the glitch doing in with this bloody game. Putting out a Panzerfaust. Did not even show it. Young Ruli getting taken down with that Sturmgewehr 1-5. Let's go and have a look at CQC Maniac as he starts to run up the staircase. Closely being followed. Coming in with the uh, the quick fire Tommy gun and getting taken down by Tan Man. As Tan Man's rocking that M1907 sweep. Wait a minute, Astro, I'll go to prom with you, bro. Here comes Bong Angel. She's going to be moving straight through that building with the big, big drum mag. Tommy Gun coming in for the revive, picking the teammates back up. And keeping an eye on that Bravo objective for BT5, claiming it back for her team. Alpha Point still under Falkhouse control after they took it back. A very, very 
very few minutes into the game. And now looking to move their way back into Bravo. We got Zone 6 and Maniac getting straight in. Oh, Astro, I'll definitely go to the problem with you, bro. I'll definitely go to the problem with you, bro. You know I will. Okay, so Zone 6 still on the objective. Jumps out being the bushwalker he is. He's going to be going underneath there into the Bravo objective. Bong Angel coming in on our own. We've got Burn and Warm. Mr. Rogers. They're going to get her get himself in there. Let's see what he's able to do here with the ZK383. He's going to be looking to pop out some rounds. Goes for the smoke grenade. And he's going to be pushing up with that smoker's cover. Unfortunately there for Bong Angel. She is currently down, but he is going to be looking to get inside this building. Getting into the corner, tucking himself away. Now Tan Man is going to be making his way in there as well. And as you can see, Mr. Rogers getting absolutely stabbed by Maniac as he gets blasted and blitz. Taking those tags, but having no shinies for me. Hell yes, I like a good melee kill. Fortunately there for Iron Panda currently down as well. And we have got Young Ruly Maniac along with Zone 6 and that Bravo objective with Burning Warm Bong Angel still in there. Let's have a look at Burning Warm and see what you're up to. So he's going to be making his way maybe up the staircase. Oh, he's found someone. He's coming in with a few shots there. Get someone in the toes. Managing to pull back there. Just getting around that corner. By the looks of it, he may be on his own here against a big amount of full cows. Coming in with a lovely double kill. Burning Wall absolutely popping off at the moment. That's Stumgewehr with Mr. Rogers finishing off the last member of full cows. They are still a player down, Barnacle. And Bravo still remains under BT5 control along with Charlie. Now Alpha still being held by full cows. We've got Zenims along with American inside the church at the moment. Okay, Matt literally just running straight past that door, not even knowing what he's just been shot at by. We've got American just sitting in the doorway now. Somehow I've managed to go over to Venoms, but I have no idea how I've managed to do that. Right, American, here we go. So Stumgewehr 1-5 in hand. He's going to be looking to get into that alpha jet. Coming in with a few shots, gets the kill on Matt. And he's going to be taken down by Dan the Man before Zenims finishes him off, goes for that revive. And Alpha slowly getting claimed here by BT5. Okay, so Bravo still under BT5 control, along with Charlie Alpha Point slowly getting claimed here by BT5 as well, with Zenims on the objective with an American. Looks like we might see a stab coming in. Oh, American gets absolutely blasted by Zone 6. Dan the man with the iron sight to them two carbine looking around the objective at the moment. King caught in a box, unfortunately, going down to Blake the Baked with the Mass 44. Young Ruli, Iron Panda making their way all the way up towards Bravo and Mr. Rogers looking to move his way there as well. Now we are seeing BT5 currently in the lead here, 127 to 86. Still one member down for BT5, but by the looks of it, it doesn't actually matter at this point. They're still taking the lead, they've got two of the objectives and they are keeping the pressure up here. Even Alpha's being claimed by Zenims on his own, who's currently right next to that med crate, just keeping still and chilling. So moving back towards Bravo, we have got a big fork house push. You know, we just lost zone 6. We're going to be looking at Iron Panda here. Let's do a game where everyone uses the Type 2A. Oh, no. I've done that once already, mate. If you remember one of my, uh, I think it was my EGL game that I did on this map. And I absolutely blitzed everyone with that Type 2A. I'll never do it again. It's too cheesy. Okay, Iron Panda, Maniac, all of that Bravo objective. Keeping it hold, but we have got a cheeky Rogers coming out. That ZK383, imagine the slide out of the way with his teammate picking up the kill on Iron Panda. That was Baked the Blake. And we're going to be seeing them move straight back into that Bravo building to reclaim it for BT5. Heading over towards Alpha now. We can currently see Fork House in control of the home objective once more. Punisher just right next to the church window. Let's have a look at the top side. I haven't looked much at the top side already this map. Now, American just got down there by map. We got Zenims coming in with a few shots there, taking them down in return with that. Lovely Stunker Bear. They're going to move his way over towards Alpha, which is currently being undefended. No defense whatsoever. I know Dan the Man is up the alleyway at the moment. And now he's looking to return here as well. Sunday Barnsley versus Carney 1v1 on Rust. 1v1 on Rust. Young Ruling coming into that Bravo objective. Looks like Fork House will be claiming a secondary objective here. Coming in with a few shots, but unfortunately getting killed off by Berlin Wall. As Burner Wall's going to be making that way in towards Bravo with that Stumgewehr. And runs himself straight into Zone 6, who takes him down. That's how it's done. 
Okay, so Full Chaos in control of Bravo. However, they have now started to lose Alpha. American Zenim still on the objective. Bait the Blake taking down Punisher and Avenging Spirit. Well done. Coming in to take down Matt as well. Liberator only one versus one. Ooh. Going over towards the end here where we are looking at... I was going to say 1MD then. Jesus. Looking at BT5's Assault. Assault. Oh my god. I'm reading the chat and talking at the same time. Looking at BT5's spawn area. They're going to be moving over towards that Bravo objective to reclaim it back for their team. Let's check the teams here. So we have got the 8th member in for BT5, which is N-A-R-X. Or NAR. We're going to be seeing that Bravo objective taken by BT5 along with their Alpha and Charlie still under their control. Alpha being slowly captured back here by Punisher. We've got Vengeance Spirit now looking to go up against Nar. Where is Nar? He's saying he gets absolutely blasted by that bar rifle. We're down to just 47 tickets remaining versus the 111 of BT5. Okay, so looking over towards Bravo, we do see Fork House in control of two objectives out of three, but we have got Bong Angel enter entering the Bravo point. Let's see what she can do with that Tommy gun of hers. So she has found members behind her, taking down double, getting a cheeky double kill onto Young Ruli and CQC, I was going to say Master, CQC Maniac. Well done, Bong Angel. So Bravo getting claimed back here by BT5. That's going to be two out of three of the objectives taken. Big firefight going down here with Iron Panda just going down to bait the Blake. Bait the Blake. Oh my god, I cannot speak. <laughs> bait the bait. As he's going to be making his way over towards the Alpha objective. Coming in from behind to make sure no one is in the way. Okay, so he's going to be looking to move over towards that back end, heading straight over towards Iron Pan, who's put down some fire to start with. Now he is going against a longer range gun. We have got Blake the Bait. That could be a command now, if you want, McBarnsey. Put him Bait as the command. And it's, uh, yeah. Can't remember what it said now. Blake the Bait. There you go. And there we go. we got Matt moving through as well. We're looking at just 24 tickets remaining here for Fork House. Triple Cap coming in for BT5. Losing Charlie at the moment. But we are going to be seeing that game come to an end. Let's have a look at that leaderboard and see who's come out on top here. Zone 6 with the 16. Sorry, 17 and 7. 13 and 9 to Maniac. 9 and 5 to Iron Panda. Rooley with the 8 and 7. 9 and 12 to Matt. Punisher with a 4 and 9. 2 and 7 to Dan the Man. Avenging Spirit with a 0 and 6. Rogers 15 and 6. 11 and 7 to Bong Angel. Tan Man with a 14 and 8. 13 and 8 to Zenims. Berlin Wall with a 15 and 7. 12 and 7 to American. Blake the Baked. 19 and 1. Well done, Blake. And a 5 and 1 to Nar. Yeah, Blake the Bake. Yeah. No, 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 it's Bake the Blake. Wait. Oh, my God. Just, just, just kill me now. Just kill me now. I can't remember what I said. Lovely pirate round going straight into the building of Bravo, dealing some mass damage there. Bravo still under the control of BT5. A lot of full house members in there. Berlin will come in with a few shots. Looking to pick up a kill or two. Let's see what he's able to do here with this lovely, lovvely gun of his. Let's see what he's able to do. He's coming out, going around that corner. Still looking for those members at the moment, but not managing to find them. Okay, so he has found one here coming in with a few shots of the Schlumgewehr bomb 5. He has found another one on that staircase, but unfortunately gets shut down by Young Rooley. With one ticket remaining. GG's. Bake the Blaked. That's it, yeah. Bake the Blaked. Yeah, I was going to Terra. How you doing, buddy? So we're looking at 91 ticket win coming in for the very first round here for BT5. GG's. Yeah, I was going Terra. 91 tickets. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so we're going to be moving over to the second round of Province. Bake the blade. <laughs> I didn't pick this fight, but 
I'm, no, I'm in it. I try to give it my best shot. Okay, so the teams will be switching around. Let's check all team is currently still in the game. So we do have all eight on both sides. BT5 and Full House. So we've just got a minute until the game starts. Barnes is the command god. You know it, you know it. Best cat in the world. Right, okay, so we're looking at a timer now. We've got 45 seconds remaining. Then we're going to be moving over to a second map. Let me just remind me what that is. So we're going over to Devastation afterwards, followed by Lofton Islands. Oof. Do I have a rocky command? I don't have a rocky command. I don't, I don't. How's it going, Viper? How you doing, buddy? Okay, so 10 seconds to go. Had a quick little drink there. I've set my face to... Is that Commander Chuck Dwarves? Oh my god. I oh, know you want to change that to the king himself. That's Rocky. He's the king. Okay, so we're going to be looking at four cows straight onto that Charlie objective, moving straight into Bravo. Is that Commander Chuck Dwarves? I mean, you can have a Commander Chuck Dwarves if you save up 10,000 points. Okay, so let's have a look at Burning Wall here with that Stumgewehr 1-5. Going to be looking to put down some rounds. We've just seen Bong Angel going down. Mr. Rogers getting into the objective, going after Zone 6. Dan, the man, making that way as American takes him down. CQC Maniac, Iron Panda picking up a kill Punisher as well. We've got some rounds going in. Maniac coming in and getting killed off. And Young Ruli getting that kill right at the end. The King himself. Coming in for those revives. Keeping a hold of Bravo for their team of Full Cows. Very well done to Full Cows here. So they do control two out of three of the objectives. Alpha and Charlie. Overlooking towards Alpha. The uh, Great English. Amazing English. Overlooking towards Alpha Point, we do see BT5 in the objective. Now, i just seen a Punisher grenade going off, killing off Nar instantly. Don't know where that came from. Actually came from inside the church. Nice throw indeed. Let's have a look again at Berlin Wall, who's using that Stumgewehr 1-5. Okay, so he's going to be making his way behind the church grounds by the looks of things. Maybe you're pushing into Bravo. Either that or go into the church itself. Okay, so moving over towards that Charlie objective to get the back cap against Fork House. There seems to be no members actually defending at the moment. Now, I think Punisher may be heading back into his objective here. Let's follow him. He's got to go against two members. We've got to go against Bong Angel. Along with Burnham Walk, gets absolutely blasted by Bong Angel there. And we will now see Charlie get fully claimed. Yo, Jamie. Thank you for the Prime you, subscription, justify. dude. I love you, Jester. I love you, Jester. I love you, Jester. Love you, Jester Fire as well, my dude. <laughs> Yo, cheers, bro. I appreciate it. So, American coming in, going against CQC Maniac. Is he going to be able to get the kill here? He does indeed, but he might take some fire from the left flank. Let's keep an arm a American here. Going in for that revive. Going in for that revive. And he's going to be looking to get inside that building here. Now, he is reloading his Tommy gun, going up the staircase. He's going to be looking at those members of Full House. Is he going to be able to find them? Finds one, takes down Young Ruli instantly, looking for another member here, but I believe his teammates already finished him off with Bong Angel coming in, getting that kill on Iron Panda. So we now see Bravo fully claimed by BT5, but we have got incoming Fork House still with Zone 6 coming up, getting himself a kill before getting shut down. And look at that, just as quick as that, we have got the triple cap coming in for BT5 across the board as they attempt to keep Fork House out of Charlie. Okay, so we are seeing Zone 6 along with Maniac going down. Punisher went down as well. This is where we're going to be seeing the utilized assault rifles and the bar, especially. I have noticed the bar coming out a few a few times as well. Coming in with the lovely kills. Let's have a look at see what the Stumgewehr can do. So he's actually tried to chuck a grenade there, but he's actually out of grenades. Okay, so we have got a big movement come down this left side. Straight towards the riverbed. We've got a big full cows push going straight to Nar. Nar takes down Zone 6 instantly. 
Let's keep it on Nar here. Headshots, Maniac. Headshots of Vengeance Spirit coming in with a lovely triple kill overall. And then before going down to Young Ruli with that Type 100. Very, very nice kills there coming in from Nar, but unfortunate for him. Indeed, Iron Panda going straight for those revives. Unfortunately, getting shot down by a Bong Angel. Matt getting killed off there by Zenim as well. BT5 has full cows in the lock here, and they'll keep on locking them in as they hold this push. As you currently see, all of the full cows members are currently down on the on the riverside. They are trying to make a push through the middle now with his own six and Maniac. I think Maniac may be running into a few guys. He runs into Zenims, kills them off, goes for Bong Angel and Tan Man, but gets killed by a pinch. And we are going to be seeing Mr. Rogers coming from behind just for the assist there. And again, just like that, Falk House is contained inside their Charlie spawn. Avenging Spirit is going to be looking to try and push out here. Let's keep an eye and see what happens. Being the Bushwalkie with the Type 100. Gets blasted instantly there by American. We're going to be seeing this game come to a very, very swift end. Now, Iron Panda, uh, uh, Young Ruli, and Zone 6 actually using a smoke to push out to Bravo. Take us a fire from behind from an assault rifle, I believe, which came from, I was going to say, then Bait the Blake. Yeah, Bait the Blake. Coming in with a Mass 44, one of my favorite semi-automatics. And he's going to be looking to try and get his kill here. Comes in with a few rounds and with the help of his teammate, finishes off Zone 6 right there and now. Okay, so BT5 again, keeping Full House returned all the way to their spawn. Now they are trying to push out again on that riverfront. Iron Panda goes down. Maniac also goes down. We've got Young, Ruli, and Zone 6. Zone 6 going for that revive, picking his teammate back up of Iron Panda. Now is Iron Panda rocking a boom broom? He is indeed. I haven't seen him use it yet, though. I want to see some boom broom action. We're looking at 26 tickets remaining and counting down super damn quick. I may have to start reading out these leaderboards here. Okay, so I'm going to do it now. We're going to keep an eye on American, 1 HP in a dream. Let's have a look at those scoreboards and see who's come out on top. American, 11 and 1. Well done, American, my dude. Jeez. Bong Angel with the 8 and 2. 9 and 1 to Berlin Wall. Again, well done. 6 and 3 to Rogers. Bake the Blake. 9 and 1. 7 and 3 to Tan Man. Nah with the 8 and 2. 6 and 2 to Zenums. Young Rawley with a 7 and 4. 10 and 6 to Maniac. Zone 6 with a 2 and 5. Iron Panda with a 5 and 8. 3 and 5 to Punisher. Avenger Spirit with a 3 and 5. 1 and 9 to Matt and Dan the Man with a 2 and 6. GG's to BT5. 135 ticket lead. Which will then give him the first map overall. Yeah, how's it going, Assassin? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for the host, Assassin, my dude. I appreciate it. Okay, so we have given BT5 the first one on the board. We're going over to Devastation now for the second map. Let's see if Falk House can able to bring this back. Yo, GG's. GG's. Mr. Viper Sphere. GG's. Yeah, I'm doing well, bro. I'm doing well. Off the antibiotics, I'm back on the casting. Oh, wait, wait. I can't do that. you got to see it at least. Stanky here. How's it going, Astro? How can I help you? How can I help you today? Was it like 2 a.m.? It's uh, 10 to 2 in the morning, yeah. It is indeed. 10 to 2 in the morning. Okay, so we've got 40 seconds remaining until game start. Hey, he's found it. Assassin has found the Peep Jedi. 
Pepe Jedi. Okay, so we're looking at less than 10 seconds to go. Let's pause that music and get straight into it. Now, we're just going to be looking at Bravo here because it will take a while for those teams to reach that objective. And that's where all the firefights are going to be going down. Love the music as always. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Always got to come in with that loafy music. Ah, oh, fuck. Pee pans. <laughs> I actually don't have that one installed yet, but I've been meaning to do so. You are the best shoutcast ever. Oh, cheers, Astro, my dude. I appreciate it. I'm still going to the prom with you, by the way. I haven't forgotten. You're going to buy me some flowers? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at Bravo here. We have got BT5 entering the objective super damn early with Full Cow slowly just getting in there. Now, here comes Bake the Blade. Every time. Coming in again. Is he rocking a mass 44 yet? Again, he is indeed. He loves that gun. Coming in with a few rounds there. Again, a cheeky headshot to young Rawley, even though it didn't look like it. But that is the game for you. Now, we are starting to see Full Cows actually breach from the rear side here going in. We've got Matt, first of all. Coming in with a lovely kill against Rogers. Moving from the rear here. Running himself straight in a NAR, taking him down. Oh my god, what was that? Punisher getting absolutely blown into the building. Avenging Spirit getting into cover. The best of the best flowers. Hell yes. Big pole. Oh my god. Absolute chaos as Bong Angel comes in with Tan Man getting a hold of a kill each. Taking them down at point blank range. We are going to be looking at Bravo under full BT5 control. No one's quite gone for the Katana yet. I'm not sure if you allow pick up weapons in this rule set. Uh, Jeff will be able to tell us so. I would assume so. I would assume you wouldn't be allowed to. Okay, let's have a look outside here. So we have got Berlin Wall. Zone 6 right next to him. Berlin Wall gets the kill. Nar goes down, however. Young Rawley. Let the man slice. Tad Man coming out with a cheeky slide. Take down Young Rawley instantly. As Zone 6 is bleeding out there. And we are going to be seeing BT5 absolutely start pushing through to that Charlie objective. As Dan the Man is getting blasted down by America. And we have just got... Punisher on his own, coming in, killing off Narb. Unfortunately, getting crossfired by Bong Angel, Tan Man, and the rest of BT5. Now there are no more members of Full House currently in the Bravo objective. They are trying to enter in through the main door. Well, we've got CQC Maniac going straight up towards the organ tower. Jumps down. He's going to run himself straight into Bong Angel, who takes him out. Well done, Bong Angel. Now she's going to be moving out towards that Charlie objective. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Oh, it's always good to see that glitch again, isn't it? So we're looking towards that Charlie point. Bong Angel making her way into the objective of Charlie to claim this back and get rid of it from Full House. There's no defending members of Full House currently on the objective. Now Punisher is the closest to the objective, but he is taking a lot of fire. And he's going to be looking to move himself straight into Bong Angel, who shuts him down straight away and she is now going to be in there to capture that objective away from them as soon as i say that we have got two members of full house currently moving their way through bravo now maniac has turned around to go back zone six has come around the outskirts i would have thought he would have straight beamed it straight towards alpha to be able to get that back cap against these guys but unfortunately not they're going to be stuck inside that cathedral and unfortunately will be losing bravo again to bt5 now, Charlie Point is fully surrounded here by Full Cows. Bong Angel going to be able to survive here? Let's keep an eye on her and see how well she does with that Tommy, Tommy Gun with the lovely, lovely drum mag. Unfortunately, the Lycan Curse has kicked in. As soon as I looked at her, she got absolutely blasted there by all of the Full House members on the objective as they are now looking to move out towards that Bravo objective. We do see Tan Man on the right side as Zone 6 is trying to make his way through. Getting absolutely shot down. Maniac coming in one kill versus Bong Angel. We've got Berlin Wall there as well. Coming in with a few cheeky shots. Getting hold of one kill. Almost getting that secondary kill, but gets killed off by a young Ruli who is utilizing a hey, Ruby Rolls. And we'll be keeping an eye out to try and push forward a little bit further into Bravo. As you can see, we've got Nara American coming straight through with Rogers. It's absolute chaos. Maniac coming in with a melee kill. Grabbing those tags off of Tan Man before getting shot down by Rogers. With Zenims taking out Avenging Spirit. This is insane. We are seeing a lot of close quarters fighting here. No time to flank just yet. Zenims gets killed off. We just see Nara getting a melee kill on the mat. 
But we're looking at Mr. Iron Pandu. So unfortunately goes down to American. As American is going to be looking to breach this wall here. Jumps his way over. Now that glitch is horrid. And that's going to continue for a while because it's a drum mag. Okay, so Charlie Point is going to be slowly starting to get reclaimed by BT5. Have we had any movement from the guys of Four Cows breaching through the defences here? We have not, so Charlie Point slowly getting claimed. we got Matt pushed up the right side, going straight towards Blake, who takes him down instantly. How's it going, Gucci? How you doing, buddy? How's your move? How's your move, bro? Hope, hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so looking at Nar at the moment. Pushing his way right up to the spawn of the Fork House, guys. As Charlie is going back to Fork House control, just barely. Iron Panda utilizing the underneath there with Zenims just above him. As he heard this movement, now he may be going for that revive there. He's debating it whether to get hold of Young Ruli or not. Or wait to anchor for his squad. Now he is popping that smoke off. He's starting to take some rounds. Is he going to go for that revive? Or is he going to come in with a few rounds of ZK383? Trying to get one shut down, but he's getting shot from the rear, and this may be the end of Iron Panda. It was indeed. He gets totally shut down by all of these members of BT5, as no members of Fork House have managed to breach these defenses. We may see this game come to a very quick end. School whack, though, shouldn't be open. Yeah, it's true, man. It shouldn't, it shouldn't actually be open. I mean, we're in the summer holidays at the moment, so none of the kids are actually here um, in school. In the UK, so yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't be open, man. It shouldn't be open, especially when it's like ten times worse in the United States than it is in the UK. Right, okay. So Charlie Point getting claimed by BT5. We have got ourselves a triple cap straight into the objective. You currently see BT5 in full control. Alpha Bravo Charlie fully under their control. Without further ado, I'm going to be looking at those leaderboards yet again because this game's about to come to an end. Young Rawley with a seven and six, five and eight to Iron Panda. Maniac with a 6 and 7, 4 and 7 to Zone 6. Avenging Spirit with a 1 and 6, 4 and 6 to Matt. Punisher with a 3 and 6, 0 and 5 to Dan the Man. Tan Man with a 10 and 2, well done indeed. 7 and 4 to Bong Angel Nar with a 15 and 0, but he could be a 15 and 1. He is currently down at the moment. And there it is, 15 and 1. 9 and 4 to American Rogers with a 9 and 2. 6 and 1 to Roger. Oh, what? Sorry. Bird and Wall with the 9 and 2. 6 and 1 to Rogers. 7 and 1 now. 9 and 0 to Bake. Blake the Bake. And Zenims with the 6 and 5. 141 ticket lead coming in from BT5 into the first round of Devastation. And there we go. We're going to add that in. We're going to get that music blasting out yet again. We're going to go over to the second round of Devastation for tonight's game. Let's see how it fares. Okay, so we are into the second round. How's it going, Viking? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well. Oh my god. Explosions. Yeah, I'm doing well, mate. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Doing pretty damn good. Gotta get back in the scrim. <clears throat> no worries. Have fun, my dude. Have fun. Okay, so we have just got 45 seconds remaining. We are going to keep waiting here for the game to start. Devastation. Here's Alternate Assassin coming in with the uh, PP Jedi. And the, and the Pepe... Pepe headphones, I believe it is. No, Pepe Jam. That's the one.
Okay, so 10 seconds till game start. Are we going to be seeing BT5 absolutely pull this ahead again? Or are we going to be seeing a total change from Falk House as they claim this map back? <clears throat> My voice went funny then. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Got to clear the old, uh, the old windpipes out. <laughs> okay, so Forkhouse definitely on a bit better of offensive to start with here. They're going to be entering that objective, first of all, to stop BT5 from getting that early lead. Are they going to be able to take it, though? we got Mr. Rogers coming in, trying to get a few shots in. Takes out Young Riley. Young Ruley, sorry. And we have got Full Cow stopped at the side here with Nar putting down some rounds. We've got lots of shots going out. Now, I just seen Iron Panda use an M2 carbine. Hello, Mr. Panda. Let's see what you can do with that bad boy. Here we go. Coming in, take it down, Burner Wall, but unfortunately getting shut down instantly by Bake. With that mass 44, he's loving that gun. Moving his way in towards Bravo. Look at that last member of Fork House Bravo. Is fully in claimed here by BT5. We're going to have a few shots going out there. Almost getting that kill, but not finishing them off. We're going to keep our eye on here and see what's going down. So we got Fork House members, Maniac, along with Zone 6 on the right side. Trying to take down Burn and Wall. Managing to get the kill down. Pushing it straight towards Charlie to go for that back cap. Oh, hold up. They have actually returned their way towards Bravo, which could be a mistake here. They needed to pop smoke and make that way back to Charlie. Because now they're going to be boxed in this corner. And we're going to be seeing these guys get killed off one by one. And we just see an American go down. And we've got Zone that on his own. He's going to get stabbed from behind. Is Bake the Blake. Blake the Bake. Came in. Grabbed those tags with that bowler knife. And took those shinies for me. Rip in the chat indeed. Okay, so looking at the Fork House guys, Iron Panic getting taken down by Berlin Wall on that left side. We've got Matt moving up in the center, Vengeance Spirit, along with Dan the Man. Let's have a look over here towards Maniac and Young Ruli making his way again. Along with Zone 6, who's got Bake right behind him. Coming in, absolutely slapping. And now moving away up towards the Alpha Objective, but there's one sneaky member of Fork House, and that is Punisher, who has made his way into Charlie. Okay, so we do see Nar actually returning to the objective. There is a spider on my microphone. Hmm. Let's go, let's go. It's actually building a web as well. It's quite funny. <laughs> Nar joined BT5. He did indeed, Ram. How you doing, Ram, by the way, dude? Hope you're doing well, bro. More spiders. Yeah, no, I need Rocky here now, don't I? Nah, it's not as big as the other day. It's only a tiny money spider, so it's fine. <laughs> Alpha Point currently still being held here by BT5. Charlie's still under full house control at the moment. Don't know where it's gone now. It's buggered off somewhere. Alpha Point with BT5 in full control. Let's have a gun over towards Charlie, which is still under full house control, but not for much longer. We have got a full wipe coming in. You can currently see Nar along with Zenims and American all on that objective. Lover looking towards Bravo. But we are actually seeing a squad of Fork House getting their way into the objective. Iron Panda Zone 6 along with Young Rawley. Are they going to be able to take this objective away from BT5? Or are they going to get absolutely squashed here by Bong Angel and her guys as they start to move in? Okay, so Bong Angel will be busting over that door. We have got Zone 6 there coming in with a few rounds. Taking her down with the ZK383 instantly. With Fork House keeping it on on. Bravo. Alpha Point still going back down to BT5 control. Let's have a look and see what's going down here. So Dan the Man for Fork House going to be making his way to that left side where Tan Man was attempting to get the revive on the Berlin Wall. Zone 6 coming in from behind as well. We had just seen Punisher getting killed off there along with Dan the Man. Now let's have a look at Maniac utilizing that grease gun of his and see what he can do. Okay, so Alpha Point looks like it will be fully reclaimed by Fork House. However, by doing so, they will now start to lose a Bravo. So 
So Matt is currently down. We got Maniac making his way over towards that Bravo objective from the left flank. American coming in with Bong Angel and Tan Man on the right side. And it looks like BT5 is holding a pretty damn good defensive perimeter. Now they have let Maniac slip through slightly from the right side. Let's keep it on Maniac no, here. God, please, no, Yo, Razor. No. Coming in with the sub. Cheers, bro. Pog indeed. Cheers, my dude. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome back to the club. Welcome back. Down the man, Matt. Panda all breaching the cathedral at the moment. Getting inside that Bravo objective. Let's keep an eye here. Let's keep an eye. We have got CQC Maniac just chilling again still in that corner. Look at him being very sneaky with that grease gun. Bravo slowly getting claimed here by the guys of Falk House. We have got Zenims coming in from behind. Let's have an eye on Zenims and see if he noticed that member of Falk House. And Maniac takes him down with that grease gun instantly. Here comes Iron Panda from the top side. Let's see what Iron Panda can go up to with that M2 carbine of his as he tries to get into that Bravo objective. Falk House in control. Two out of three of the objectives here. Now, where's that spider gone? No idea. Somewhere. Okay, so watching that far there with that two times sight for the M2. Now, I've just seen a bottle kill coming in as well. Your side for the Battlefield 1 tourney that I'm hosting? Hell yeah, Ballista. Hell yeah. How you doing, Ballista, by the way, dude? Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well. Actually starts tomorrow, funny enough. I'll see the bracket around 3 o'clock my time tomorrow. Okay, so we just seen Iron Panda getting shut down by Berlin Wall. I have to take it down Maniac as well. Now, if you can hear on the outskirts here, we have got the bombs starting to fall in. Is anyone going to get killed by the most random bombs? Whoa, where am I? What the hell was that about? Right back to the cathedral. Okay, so BT5 literally running around the objective of Bravo. They have got it out fully under their control. Let's have a look over towards Charlie at the moment, who is under Fork House control. Now, this is the home point for BT5 Punisher, utilizing the sandbag wall with Dan the Man, getting a kill into Blake the Baked. Now, we have got Bong Angel and Rogers coming in, taking down Matt, and they're going to be getting that rear flank onto Punisher and Dan. Are they going to be able to take this out, though? And there you go. We're down to just one man remaining of Fork House, which is Dan the Man, who gets taken out by Mr. Rogers. Charlie Point will slowly get claimed here. Now, I think Mr. Rogers just took a bomb to the face and survived. Okay, so now they're taking back that Charlie objective. We've got a four-man push coming in from Falk House. Matt coming in, taking down American with that Sturmgewehr 1-5 going for the underneath here. Let's see if he's able to get into there. Bust open the door, still closes in from underneath. And just as quick as that, they've come in from behind. Wiped out majority of the BT-5 forces. And they're going to be looking to keep hold of that Charlie objective. Bong Angel along with Tan Man and Rogers still in the objective here for BT5. They're going to be looking to take this back away from Matt who's currently underground along with Punisher coming in with a few rounds. Let's have a look at Rogers. ZK383 is going to be trying to get around this corner here. Let's see what he can do. Comes in with a lovely double kill. Take it down. Both Dan the Man and Punisher with a single spray. And leaving Charlie back to their control. Okay, so now looking over towards the Bravo objective, you can see that Fork House is in control. Maniac going up against Nar. And Nar coming in with the kill with the bar rifle with a lovely cheeky headshot. He's going to be looking to move through Bravo now to start taking this back for his team. So he's waiting for movement. There's a lot of movement coming from that left flank. There's a load of Fork House moving straight in. They're absolutely getting blasted here. And here he comes from behind. Nar finishing off a Vengeance Spirit. What a pinch indeed. Nar finding himself young Riley as well. To help a fake the Blake. Maniac coming out with the pistol back. Getting absolutely toasted. As we are going to be seeing BT5 again. Continue their control of Bravo. As we now look over towards Alpha. Okay, so Matt, Dan the Man, Zone 6, Iron Panda returning slightly over towards that right side of the train tracks. We've just seen Dan getting killed off there. Let's have a look here at Zone 6. He starts to move through, coming in with one kill, managing to get a few hits, but goes down nonetheless. As BT5 has a full push here, Young Ruli getting killed off as well. Bong Angel along with Blake the Baked. 
on this right side as well. It's going to be looking to push out and breach to this left side and head in towards Alpha to claim the third objective of this game. And itchy eyeball. Punisher getting absolutely blasted there. We've got Iron Panda coming in. Take down Blake. And we have got Zone 6 moving straight up. Narkin off Zone 6 instantly there. Burling. Wall coming in with a kill against Maniac before getting shut down by Dan the Man. Bong Angel coming in for those revives. Picking up her teammates and looking to get straight back into the fight. Looks like we have got Tan Man down at the moment. Matt tried to push over towards Bravo but will be failing that push. As we are seeing BT5 holding that defensive perimeter around the devastation objective of Alpha. American killing off Maniac. Zone 6 coming in with a kill, however. Going straight for that revive. Picking his teammate back up. Dan the man without a clue where Bong Angel was. Taking him out from behind. Zenim's coming in as well. And looks. Let's have a look at Bong Angel. Is she going to be able to follow this up? And she gets stabbed by the machete of CQC Maniac. And there's Tan Man. Finishing him off. We're down to just 20 tickets remaining. Alpha being captured here by BT5. Without further ado, let's read. leaderboards i think that's banned you know the reinforcements am i right nine and two to rogers a bong angel the 10 and two 19 and three to berlin wall tan man with the 12 and one 17 and three better keep an eye on these kills actually i did see one kill with the artillery just then Okay, so 18 and 3 to Nar. We've got American with 11 and 30, uh, 11 and 3, sorry. 17 and 2 to Blake the Baked. Zenims with a 10 and 4. Zone 6 with a 14 and 11. 11 and 10 to Punisher. Maniac with a 5 and 10. 10 and 8 to Iron Panda. Matt with the 8 and 13. 4 and 11 to Dan the Man. Young Rooley with a 6 and 13. 3 and 10 to Avenging Spirit. GG's both teams are very well played indeed. We're going to be moving over to the final round, I believe. I'm not sure if it's the best of three or not. Let's get that music replaying anyway, while we uh, just confirm that. Okay, so we have seen one Fork House member leave, so I'm not entirely sure if it is actually a best of three or not. Okay, so the sides have switched. BT5 still remaining with eight people. We have got Full House leaving the game. By the looks of things, we have lost two members. I believe that could be a GG's in the chat for the Full House guys. I will quickly just make sure that that is the end of the game. GG's Isma, GG's. Just making sure, just making sure. Okay, so apparently we have got spawn in occurring. I believe they're still going to be playing here. Despite there being 6 versus 8, we have got full cow spawned in, Iron Panda and Zone 6. But we do actually see members of BT5 not even spawned in. They're going down to 6 players. I believe this actually a GG's. That's okay, Viking, my dude. It's the best of 3, isn't it? Before I carry on with this. It is indeed. So we've got team members leaving. Let's end it here. Let's send you over to another streamer. Let's see who we can find to send you guys over to, shall we? Again, thank you for joining me tonight, guys. I appreciate it very much for all the gifted subs, the subs, the bits. Absolute legends, as always. Let's find you a Battlefield streamer to send you over to.
And I'm going to actually send you over to Elusive. No, she's currently playing Battlefield 5. Now, when we get into Elusive's stream, everyone needs to uh, just spam the lull. So everyone spam lol as soon as you get in there. And without further ado, guys, I will see you soon. Thank you for joining me. GG's to BT5 for the win. Elusive Pog. You know it. You know it. No worries. No worries, my dudes. And I will see you soon. Peace.